Yes, I love this question. And the short answer is unfortunately, we cannot say for sure whether the sperm used to fertilize the egg causes GDN. That causal relationship, again, we can't 100% say that that is the case. However, the suspected link between sperm and GDM has to do with the sperm's role in the development of the placenta and the placenta's role in the risk for GDM. And I just wanna to say too, there are many genetic and environmental factors that impact someone's risk of developing gestational diabetes. Hormones do appear to play a large part in the development of the placenta, and the hormones released by the placenta are what contributes to that insulin resistance. So we know hormones are one part of this equation as well. And researchers have been exploring the ways that epigenetic factors from the male biological parent or from a sperm donor in the case of an assisted sperm donor pregnancy influence the health of the baby and the development of the placenta. And so epigenetics has to do with behaviors and factors in the environment that cause changes that affect the expression of genes. And these can be impacted by things like health or your age, for example, and even environmental exposures like substance use, or if you've been exposed to food insecurity or even exposure to trauma. And studies have shown that these factors specifically can impact epigenetic changes in the DNA in the sperm and that the sperm again plays a role in the development of the placenta. So this is all kind of related and associated, all of these factors, but we really need more research to fully understand the ways that the sperm and the placenta and GDM are connected. And we do link to some of these recent research articles and resources where you can learn more about these connections in the signature article. So it'll be interesting too to kind of follow this research and see how it progresses and what people say ends up kind of being that connection and that big picture between sperm and the risk of GDM.